everybody. This is your boy Danny Two One One, aka Dengo Unicorn. Uh, I take this opportunity to welcome you to Real Talk with Grace. Hope you guys will enjoy it. Thank you so much for supporting Danny Two One One. Thank you for supporting our YouTube channel. We we'll make sure we give you the right content on this YouTube channel. Let's check it out from Grace. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. I believe we are all fine. That we are all safe. That we are all doing well. Yeah. Before I welcome you to Real Talk with Grace, or before I start discussing about today's topic, I want to apologize over what happened last time when I was talking about rape. When I was actually talking about rape, I discussed on how, sorry, on how it only affects women. I didn't look at how it affects men, and it is something that can even affect men too. I'm sorry, guys. Many some men have went through that, and they were deeply affected. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Mm, yeah so, yeah welcome to real talk once again uh welcome to real talk with grace i'm of course grace yeah grace are going there yeah you know what today video i'm going to talk about love and uncertainties so uh i believe that everybody understands what love is and even whatever that i'm going to explain i think is something that people are so much aware of this is that I want to remind people, yeah, okay? Yeah. Uncertainties, these are things that I think that are, are unpredictable. Things that nobody's unaware of. Things that can happen. And we cannot do anything about them as human beings. Are things like sicknesses, things like um uh things like death, things like uh like like what is happening now about pandemic, about coronavirus? There were some people who plans their weddings. There were some people who plans their engagement, but now they are not going through because we have the virus. Yeah. So sometimes when these uncertainties come in, they can break the love, and it can be one of the hardest thing that can ever happen. Because sometimes if you want to manage a person, sometimes you need to go for the checkup and you go for checkup and unfortunately the person that you are dating is sick and is deeply sick. You cannot marry that person. Yeah. So it really affects love so much and and this is what you should do. This is how you should handle uncertainties. One of the things, if uncertainty happens, like what is happening now, take time before making a decision. Don't make a decision with rush. Take your time, at least have peace of mind first, and then afterward you can make your decision of what you can do next. Another thing that you should do, consult some of your friends, some of your relatives, some of your uh, people that are so close to you. Try to explain to them uh, what is really happening in your life and they can really help you. Other thing that we should do, and which is the most important thing, always pray to God, because it is only God who knows that we can have uncertainties. None of us can predict the real time that this is going to happen, or that th this person is going to die, or this is going to happen. The only person that can know that is God. And that's why you should always pray every day, always be steady every day, always have that kind of faith always be there always like free like always always put god first yeah because he's the only one who knows that uncertainty can happen and he's the one who can really help you to overcome that okay things like heartbreaking somebody's son or somebody's daughter is uncertainty because uh, a man who is so much uh who is so much closer to you or a lady who is so much closer to you uh and and out of nowhere out of blue you come up and you start saying uh babe hon i don't i don't love you anymore or you tell him love i'm not interested in you anymore i need a new person need a new face you know such kind of things can I break someone and can make someone go even crazy can make someone have a kind of a mind that was not the right mind and that's why i was saying like before that you cannot really make a decision in say kind of situation because the kind of decision that you are going to make will not make sense okay yeah yeah today i'm not going to talk a lot because i have flu i have something like homa yeah 
you can even realize in the way that I talk, my voice have a little bit turned, and you know, this is because of weather, and yeah. So, uh, thanks so much for watching this video, and still I'm apologizing to men because I talked so much about rape, and you know, guys, we love you. You know that you men, we cannot, we cannot live without you. You mean everything to our lives. Though sometimes we women pretend so much, like you know, we are women, we are princess, we are queens. We don't need men. That's just our jokes, you know. But the reality on the ground is that we love you. We need you in every situation. You mean everything to us. And um, you know, the world is now. We are enjoying this world because you guys are there with us. Okay. So thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm so grateful and see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, share it. Leave a comment below. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Danny211. And never forget to click on, on the notification bell for timely updates on more inspiring, cultural, entertaining, and educational content. Thank you. Bye.